because we understand we're born for greatness. And stand it on, we are a chosen. Welcome back to another banger. It's your boy, Dr. Pump, AKA Busio Liz, back with another video. I just came back from my trip to Vegas. I had a event with PHP, people helping people. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? It's like, man, it's like kind of like, okay, let's just pay you the least amount. And if you're okay with it, you're gonna say yes, and you're gonna stay there. But guess what? You know what happens is that sometimes we get so comfortable with that, and guess what happens? That we stop dreaming. You know what I mean? Remember when you were like little, like this big? And as we got older, guess what happened is that Life becomes more logical. When you start chasing that vision, everything and anything is going to try to bring you down. People, circumstances. Maybe you're not in the best place that you want to be today, but you can get better, right? When life seems like it's getting harder, it's actually getting better. Because the lower you go, the higher you, you rise. I didn't grow up in the richest environment. My family didn't come from riches, but it's all what's up in here. If you're wealthy up here, you shall be wealthy in the real world because as it is in heaven, it is on earth. What is heaven? State of mind. There's no such thing as heaven or hell. It's life. What do you make it to be? Are you happy with what you're doing? Are you happy with your circumstances or you're not? There's technique to everything that you do. There's a plan. There's a purpose. There's intention to everything that you do. They're using their mind. The creator dwells within you. The power of the word. The words that you say could mean life or death to somebody. So choose them wisely. By the time this video is probably posted, the website should be updated. So check it out, boostyourlist.com. Get one-on-one -on -one coaching. You thought you could take on the world, if anything, right? Yeah, you know, maybe, but maybe you should do this other thing, stuff like that, because you know, I mean, the probability of becoming a professional soccer player, you know, it's, it's very low. So you might not make it and stuff. So you may, you might want to do this other things, right? Which is nothing wrong with it, but the part is that now we start planting those limiting beliefs into people, into our kids, or next generations. Versus like, man, you want to go become a professional soccer player? What do you want to do? Okay, cool. What do we got to do to go out there and make sure that you become that? We start getting limiting beliefs from people, and guess what? We start believing in those things, and eventually, guess what? You've learned things that sometimes you have to start unlearning. Somebody tells you that you can't make six figures or seven figures or a million dollars, whatever. Somebody tells you like, yeah, no, no, like we're 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 not those, not, we're those only for the rich people, right? If you only come from this background, you can actually do that. But if not, you gotta work hard. You gotta work hard. You gotta work hard. They're getting access. You don't just get access because you're a nice person. There isn't anybody in PHP I don't love, but if you wanna do something big with your life, you gotta kinda shift your mindset to this generational entitlement, small thinking type of stuff. You need to start thinking bigger. Because when you do, some of your wildest dreams will become a reality. And so many people will benefit from the hard work you put together. Family, kids, cousins, everybody. Simply because of standards that show that that's the part that excites me. This is why I'm convinced 50 years from now, they're going to put this circle and say, this president, their parents used to be board councils on PhD. Why is it so many congressmen, senators, governors, president, leaders, why did they all come from PhD? They're going to bring it back exactly to this company. You'll see when I tell you this. I'll be 95 texting you. Did you see this is our 19th governor that came out of PHP? No shit, no shit. Damn. This vision has been clear since day one and we're still fighting for this vision. Does it make sense? So sometimes we get these limiting beliefs you guys that are planted into our brain that we gotta unlearn these things. Does it make sense? So some of us obviously were parents in here so sometimes you gotta realize, man, what kind of limiting beliefs have I planted into my children or my next generations to come?